Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a very special video. This is going to be my top 5 combo building champions. And I know the astute among you will go, there's only a very select few that do combos in to make them more powerful. Yes, there's 5. Actually, there's a bit more than 5. But we're going to discuss that in this video and what makes them so darn good. But obviously, if I've missed off any of the champions that are in this list, and also if you're not completely happy with the order that I've put them in, then put it and have your say in the comment section down below. And make sure to hit the like button, that'll help out. So yes, let's get into this video, shall we? Well, first of all, in at number 5, it is Star-Lord. Now, for a lot of players, they may be going, Hey, Star-Lord's an amazing champion, especially if unofficial Caban Mike is watching. But the fact is, Star-Lord does fall behind the way the shift of the game. If we were talking several years ago, and some of the champions on the list didn't have more extensive utility, didn't have things like persistent charges ingrained into the abilities, then, of course, it would be Star-Lord right up the top. He is still an amazing damage dealer. There's no denying that. And as well, from an early point in the game this is going to be one of those ideal champions optional and that's the thing i am currently running s word masteries which is obviously going to mean a different thing when it comes to playing stuff especially with putting in sp3s as opposed to shooting out sp2s which let's face it a lot of players like shooting out an sp2 with the lovely little star lord now let's face it if you've got a high signature level of this champion then as it reads here as blows are exchanged, Starlord familiarizes with the opponent's techniques, increasing attack by which I have 56.33, but higher signature levels will increase that exponentially up to a maximum of 400 hits. So basically, you do more as you do more combos. We all know that. Starlord gains 82.17 block proficiency, so as well, you'll be increasing your block proficiency as well for every hit on the combo meter. So obviously, there's pluses to his offensive, and as well, there's, there's different, different things that are applicable to his defense as well in particular block proficiency which is very very nice not to mention getting an 11 percent chance to gain a fury buff for 6.50 seconds granting uh, 569.25 attack and obviously that is again based on rarity and as well based on rank this should uh, obviously scale as it goes up either way Stalod is a fantastic champion huge damage output potential yes but does slip behind with the other utility of the other champions we're going to discuss. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a Squirrelgo who is our number four on the list. And the fact is, she's an amazing damage dealer with debuff damage with things like Critical Bleed, the way that Tippy Toe is sent out and retrieved back, and the way to scale up damage in a very kind of quick succession. And as well, starting fights with combos and the way the combo meter works. And as you can see here, this is from MCC Journal, link is in the description. And obviously, this goes back to January of this year. A very incredible champion, and as well, one that I would love to get in the future and you can see tippy toe in action uh, and other stuff like that but yeah great champion great damage output great bleeds as well that's the other thing great bleeds uh, that are available from this champion uh, a lovely skill a little bit of utility as well with dealing with certain champions and certain abilities that they have so yes fantastic and definitely a strong number four in the list in at number three is Proxima Midnight. Now, I do sleep on this champion a lot, and that's the problem with having so many relatively good champions to utilize. Now, I've enjoyed her using a lot more when I've got the this S-word masteries. Obviously, if anybody's wondering why I'm saying S-word instead of the other word, the fact is uh, YouTube sting me every time I mention it. They demonetize one of my videos because I mentioned it. I don't know if anyone else has that problem as an MCC YouTuber. Just me, maybe. Anyway, focusing on Proxima Midnight, and the fact is I'm finding a lot of decent damage output and we all know the huge damage output you can get by finishing missions and as well smashing in with that sp3 seeing some huge numbers and obviously playing about with this is the first time i've really played about with this champion and as well utilizing and having a look at the synergies so i had the proxima synergy with this i had the um as guardian hunt synergy with this so gains combo shield combo shield is very important if you get knocked down you want to be able to have that combo shield and in some of these video takes i have made some mistakes and obviously had to re-record stuff because um you know the uh the synergy uh well i didn't have a synergy shield or it's the case i got knocked down so i had to rebuild up the combos so that's one downside there so combo shields are amazing 
And as well, like having a Corvus in the synergy helps out as well. Ultimate missions combo meter requirement goes down to 75 hits instead of 100. So to give you an idea, what I was doing was I was doing missions and the missions add up to certain kind of like positive things. So Proximity has three missions to accomplish, one at a time in random order. Now, I'm not a big fan of intercept attack. I don't feel that um, I can really guess the AI. AI has changed massively in the last couple of years, but I've kind of like done some for this video. Obviously, I wanted to make sure that I was doing that mission, which I do. And at the end of it, it says reach 100 hits on the combo meter when the mission is complete. She gains a fury buff, which obviously you'll know when you'll see it ping up, uh, which gets the attack rating for 270.41. Obviously, this is just a level one unlocked, and this is a rank three. But still, with the missions as well, whenever completing a mission, she gains a prowess buff, increasing special damage by 250% per mission completed for 10 seconds. When the temporary prowess expires, Proxima receives her next mission and gains permanent prowess, enhancing special damage by 200% for the rest of the fight. So, you're going to see some amazing special damage. And obviously, we've seen it as well. There's players that have put in one over, over 1 million damage uh, in a single hit when it comes to like uh, smacking an SP3. In this video, I was able to do a couple times over 200,000. And again, based on a rank 3, based on using the S-word masteries, based on having this the awakened ability, which is only got like uh, one signature uh, in, obviously more would increase that attack rating. So it was pretty amazing to see the extent of damage output, obviously with a combo building. Uh, and yeah, it's not a huge combo build, but it's still essential to make sure that this champion damage outputs that little bit extra. And maybe people would say in the comment section that it would, would be his that Proxima should be put a lot lower in the list. But I just feel that based on this huge amount of damage output and as well based on the missions and based on the other stuff, but mainly with that uh, signature ability, being, awa uh, being awakened, she is a fantastic damage dealer. Now in at number two is a champion that I really do like and would love to get as a five or even a six star down the line. I remember the hype at New York Comic Con and as well, and unfortunately with the changing with the, I think it was AI Uprising, yeah, that was meant to be like a lot more extensive than it was making champions a lot more OP, but still the fact is Guillotine 2099 packs a lovely punch. It has this really cool pre-fight ability that factors into three different things. So Huntress function is every 20th attack on the the combo meter is a guaranteed critical hit if this attack is special one or two all hits of the attack guaranteed to be critical there's a stability function while above 99 hits in the combo meter while um, doing a medium attacks still life five percent damage dealt and salt function is while above 99 hits in the combo meter medium attacks burn five percent of the opponent's current power she does have this aspect of persistent charge, so gear team begins the quest with two Digisols, each providing plus 16% defense power rate. Digisols are refunded after each fight and can be spent to enhance gear team's sword on pre-fight screen. At the start of the fight, if gear team has at least one Digisol, she gains a, an armor up above, granting 1,300 armor rating. So that's good. That obviously, all those are positive for the champion. Also, there's good to know this is a little bit of insurance when it comes to the signature ability in that if there's a problem that she gets hit, then at least she has a 72.15% chance to gain a combo shield passive lasting two seconds. So that is really good as well. Obviously, higher signatures, you'll have a better chance, but it's kind of like ramping up that insurance so that if you get hit, you're covered. Well, the main thing is when you're running S-Word Masteries, which I've been doing for the purpose of recording this video, a combo 100, 100 plus um, hit, Guillotine Sword becomes empowered, dealing a burst of 19.06 direct energy damage for each hit above 100, scaling with base attack and capping after 600 hits. Very, very important, especially for those long haul battles. And as well, going into things like Labyrinth of Legends or anything where you say you've got a three star, you're going up against Realm of Legends, or if you've got a four star, you're doing Realm of Legends, which I'm doing in this video. The fact is, when we get to like a huge hit combo, you're going to see some nice damage. But obviously, you need to take those persistent hits, those charges into the next battle. And if you can, well, timing is important to do a SP3 at say about 1% health on any enemy, just so that you're able to clock over those 100 hits. I think this is a fantastic champion for a lot of Act 6 stuff and as well certain fights and different types of areas of the contest. 
And now it's time for a very incredible honourable mention. Now, I didn't think that I would enjoy this synergy quite as much as I would, and that is the Enhanced Soldier synergy, with Winter Soldier being your lead champion and Killmonger being your backup champion to boost this synergy. So, five, plus 5% attack for each hit in a combo meter, a maximum of 100 hits, and that is for Winter Soldier. This champion, with this synergy, and as well, I paired this with a Heimdall Synergy with S-Word Masteries. And I must admit, this was tasty as anything. And I'll be putting this on the screen at the moment for you to check out. So enjoyable. And as well, it was good to kind of switch between different things like uh, power controlling with Winter Soldier. And as well, doing things like switching between the different types of uh, shots that I was using. So hollow points and, and, you know, incinerate rounds and, yeah, bleed rounds, armor break rounds. Whatever it was, it was good to switch between them and utilize them in different ways. Mainly hitting into an SP3 in order to maximize damage output for Winter Soldier. That was very, very fun. This was a rank 4 version and just putting together things with the masteries, the synergies, was just absolutely ramping this guy up to 10 and past. Good amount of damage output, nice to see the big yellow numbers in place from here to there. And I must admit, I am enjoying seeing a champion that is old school brought into the current light with this synergy. One that I have overlooked for a while, but obviously with so many new champions coming in, it is uh, sad at times not to kind of go like, hey, well there is a viable champion from an OG era, which Winter Soldier was, was buffed up from the way he was because he was very much a carbon copy of the Punisher. So it is really good to see this champion just doing some amazing damage. Uh, and as well, like um, there's not really many things else to kind of talk about except for this champion had a level 20 signature and it was basically meaning an upgrade to Bucky's bionic arm, grants him a critical hit of 15% chance to drain power uh, target of, uh, yeah, so the power drain was there and the amount drained increased based on the critical hit damage. So that's good in some ways because you're able to power control effectively from time to time. So yes, okay, that's an extra good thing which we did see in some of the footage. So yes, brilliant champion, brilliant synergy. It is an honorable mention, but it's only because it's been amplified by synergies and that's only been created by synergies. You could as well say, okay, well the mastermind synergy is exactly the same as this, but this one is a lot better. And yes, you all guessed it, you all knew it was going to happen, Aegon is number one. I must admit, using S-Word Masteries has been relatively fun. I wouldn't say it's the go-to when it comes to grinding out. Yes, you will get some advantages with this, but a lot of the times you will find yourself, in order to avoid extensive recoil damage, you're just throwing SP3s, which, look, is really good with this champion because of the stun side of things, and that's fine, but that won't be good for every single fight going forward. However, though, look, we all know why this champion is so good. Persistent charges. Okay, so let's have a look at what makes him so good. Now, first and foremost, you have got uh, Relentless Assault, the signature ability, which basically means you're going to be able to take through some of the combos to the next fight. If you've got a low signature version, you're not going to be able to take over quite so many of those hits. Obviously, this is a four star. I don't have a five star awakened and I don't have a six star awakened. If I get a five star awakened, I've got loads of signature stones planned for that one. But, um, it's wishful thinking. So, combo meter taking from fight to fight, persistent combos. And you can do up this, this to up to 999. Obviously, at 1000 is the final point that you're able to gain something of a positive effect for this champion, which we're going to go over in a minute. And at five hits, and again, just to kind of reiterate, yes, this champion is good with S word masteries because it does shrug off those debuffs. It shrugs off one debuff. So, let's say it will shrug off the. Um, the, the poison or the bleed so maybe can I shrug off one or the other anyway it will just happen as it will happen when you start fighting but when it comes to doing special attacks sp3 no recoil you know what I mean 10 hits critical damage rating is increased by plus 12.0 percent uh 07 percent obviously based on rarity it is what it is um then you've got 20 hits when the opponent evades Aegon activates a combo shield for five seconds which is good um, and then as well has a 40% chance to become unstoppable for two seconds. Very good. 30 hits. Aegon can strike with critical hits even while the opponent is blocking. Excellent. Charging a heavy attack grants Aegon uh, one second of unstoppable. I'm not sure if that's that's overly needed, but you know it's still it's still good enough. And then uh, 75 hits. Opponents have eight minus 80 85% block proficiency when Aegon strikes with a critical hit. 
100 hits, critical hits have a 100% chance to shrug off one debuff. Again, helpful against, like, you know, shrugging off things with the S-word masteries. 150 hits, critical hits grant 0.5 seconds of true accuracy, allowing him to ignore auto-block and all evade effects. Amazingly handy, especially against a lot of the Spider-Verse champions, and champions that have auto-block, like your Medusas, your uh, Modox, um, and, you know, like Thor Ragnarok, you know what I mean. 200 hits, the uh, critical hits ignore 100% of the opponent's physical resistance. 300 hits, critical hits grant fury buff, increasing attack by plus 270.2 for one second. The stacks, are stacks up to three times. Amazing. Obviously, rarity, it will go up with that number. It won't always be 270.2. 500 hits, critical hits cause opponents to suffer. Minus 100% reduced defensive ability accuracy. So Aegon is now, you know, he's ramping up nicely. 750 hits, critical hits grant 1.5 seconds of unstoppable. And combo shield, uh, this stacks up to uh, three hits, uh, three times. And uh, finally, the 1000 hits, critical hits cause Aegon's next hit to be unblockable. Fantastic. And I really can't wait to get my uh, 5 and 6 star ones awakened, as it's going to mean that I'm just going to have so much fun and different content. But Aegon is just a complete machine. Now, I would say the perfect pairing which I did was with Proxima Midnight, because of the two synergies that he gets with it, Combo Breakers and Warriors of the Stars. First and foremost, Combo Breakers means it activates a combo shield for 5 seconds when the opponent, when the champion would lose their combo meter. Obviously so effective. You lose your combo with, with Aegon, especially when you're ramping up. Not when you've ramped up, but when you're ramping up. It is just so important to do that, um, you know, going from fight to fight. So very much needed in the early stages of combo building. And then you've got Warriors of Stars, which is plus 25% potency to Fury effects. Obviously, with the likes of Aegon, he has Fury effects in his in his makeup of his abilities. So it's important to amplify that, increase that, and just seeing some amazing damage. And not not to be, you know, we've got we featured Proxima Midnight in this particular list and this kind of like top five. And I'd say she's an amazing assistant to then doing more damage and having a lot of fun. So there we have it. That has been our list. Do you agree with it? Do you not? Put it in the comment section down below do would you change around the order of things would you have squirrel girl up higher would you have the likes of star lord up higher would you drop down gear team 2099 well, i just realized i was using it as a rank 4 four star and still was seeing some amazing damage outputs. so that's pretty incredible as well obviously s word masteries have been an absolute delight in order to make this video which i had a lot of fun making as well hopefully you have a lovely day whatever you're doing and it could be a case that you're in quarantine so um Good luck to you, and stay safe, and wash your hands. And don't forget to support the channel by checking out some fresh content up here. Check out some supporting links, as well as the second channel, and as well the membership scheme if you would like to. It's completely up to you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.